Hello everyone, welcome to the Garlitz High Performance Garage Channel. It's just over here, it's a <clears throat> it's March 6th. It's a Sunday, unfortunately. I have to go back to work tomorrow. So I got up this morning and thought, what the hell? Go over here and check out the blue beast and uh get some of this overspray off of it of course i didn't <clears throat> clean the windshield but i buffed this side again did the hood uh i tell you it's just one stage acrylic enamel paint that's um let me see back in the Back in 1973, that's what they started putting on these these pickups, but not this one. This one would have had a acrylic lacquer on it. So, <clears throat> uh, it's it's just a it would have been just a single stage or like like a synthetic enamel. I think a lot of them had on, which is it's kind of got like a semi gloss to it, but it's it's all right. So it's okay. So it's nothing spectacular, but that's what a majority of the cars from like uh from the beginning clear up until seventy three had on them. It was like an acrylic lacquer. <clears throat> and it was just all a single stage stuff. Nobody had clear coat. Back then I don't think. I mean, I, don't quote me on that. It's it's hard to say. Anyhow, that that fucker shines. That old acrylic enamel is pretty durable stuff. Um, you can usually buff on it a little bit, get a little bit of fifteen hundred grit out, and and kind of go over it lightly, staying away from your edges. But uh, that usually works pretty good. And then you have to buff the hell out of it. But I got on the edges a couple spots. And some of uh, <clears throat> this thing was like a metallic green at one time. <clears throat> and it was, here it is here. You can see the metallic green on it. But uh, this truck here, it's not too bad. It's kind of rough. <clears throat> If I was to redo it the right way, of course, I spray painted this fender because <clears throat> I had a gas grill in here when it used to sit over there where the Chevelle is. And uh, I had my grill up against it. And uh, I walked away from it like a dumbass and burnt the shit out of whatever I had in there. And then it, it took the paint off up here. It just burned it all off, that grill did. <laughs> straight here on the hood and then on the fender it was kind of wrinkly so i had that paint that you peel back off i sprayed that on there i was like well that's stupid i didn't know it till i was done spraying it and i got to read in the can because i just grabbed it and and ran with it but uh yeah it um it was kind of dark like this little bit right here was dark and it was really nice stuff and then <clears throat> i bought this stuff from the hardware store it's like testers model car paint if you like you're doing boat or model car it's just stuff it's got fish eyes all through it stuff but i took a whole can of that and just went over this fender and i did it just to harden up the peel away stuff which so i hit it with here with a buffer and rip some of it off but <clears throat> but a lot of this is overspray and then when I was painting the Chevelle I was testing out some clear coat and I sprayed this door just a little bit and and there was compound splatter already on it that I didn't wipe off and <laughs> I sprayed it and now it's stuck under the clear coat <clears throat> it looks like somebody blew their nose on the side of it but I never went for the top I got a big fucking hole right there in the roof. You can see it's all ate up right there. 
<clears throat> I'm just going to shove some shit in there. Because I, I'm not going to run this thing in any weather. I'm just going to drag race the fucking thing. And I finally got the bed, for the most part, cleared off. <clears throat> so, there's an old heater I'm going to pitch today. But it's fucking raining here. But I'm going to take this bed, I'm going to take it all apart. Because it's only held in here by screws. I'm going to take it all apart. I'm going to narrow the, the wood braces that whoever did this put on there. I'm going to use these. I have to clean these up because i got paint all over them. i got to clean them up and all that bullshit. And i got all these stickers on the back window. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> oh, man. My mom shook her head when she saw that one. She goes, oh, for Christ's sakes. You put a whore on your back window. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyhow, <clears throat> actually, I don't. I don't remember if she saw that one or not. She might have. I might. I probably didn't have it on the truck. I probably had it. Just took it down there and showed it to him. She might not even remember it. But, but anyhow, uh, we're just gonna rig this thing together and just slap some shit on it and you know like like a bad wound like right here we're just gonna slap some shit in it there's a hole right there oh i can see in the fucking cab hello I'm just gonna throw some shit in it and not fucking give two rats ass about it <coughs> and um just gonna run her. I need to decide what size tires to put on this thing. It's got 16 inch wheels because the front caliper is big and it's made for 16 inch wheels. It's got the big brakes on the front. Um, on the back, the drums aren't as big. They're really wide and fat. I would imagine you'd probably have to pull the drum and everything to take the axle out in order to do the brakes. I'm going to have to check them out sometime, make sure they're okay. I'm sure they're fine. Because <clears throat> the self-adjusters don't hardly ever work on these. But, uh, I cleaned it all up in here yesterday. These aren't the seats I'm going to use. But I just thought I would give it a, a little wipe down, a little vacuum. Found the gun I forgot to put in here. It's like, how would you forget a lever action? Uh, Henry 22. That's nice rifle. Very nice. But anyway, uh, I'll show you. This is the factory color of this truck right here. It's like a mint green. And here's everything that it was ordered with. It's not a huge list. I think they must have worked the hell out of this truck because, judging by the big dent in the cab that they tried to fix I would say um I'd say they worked the hell out of it so of course there's no glove box in here it's just all the plumbing and stuff for the the um heater <clears throat> I see all a bunch of shit in here don't see, I don't see a big mess of wires back in there. Looks like shit. So. And I put my steering wheel on. We'll go over and check that out. One of my skeleton friends in here. And you gotta slam these fucking doors because the hinges are kind of wore. So. Yeah. Whoop, here's my paint gun. Yeah, I cleaned this place up a little bit. It looks a little better in here. I still got a pile of stuff to throw away, though. This side's a little better, but not much. <clears throat> but this wheel, I mean, I don't know what brand this wheel is. But uh, that is a Grant steering wheel kit that I have on this. And... Um, 
Ooh. And it uh, it all worked. I mean, I can put the horn button and everything on, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to let it alone. Just leave it this way. I even I scratched it too a little bit putting it on yesterday, but yeah, it's nice. It's not loose or nothing. Nice and tight, and it's just it's light as a feather. It's just like it ain't even there. But he likes it. He likes it. This is a mask. He's got a, another skull on him, but he's ready for Halloween. So, <laughs> I bought the skull mask. I was going to scare the shit out of my wife one morning. But my eyesight isn't too fucking good, so I'd, I'd probably be stumbling around over there. to. Then the fucking dog would see me and probably bark his head off. So I never got to do it. But yeah, we're... We're getting closer, getting closer to get her on the road here. I gotta get another seat for in here. I got a set of Trans Am seats, but I don't, uh, that one shuts a little better. But they all drag because the hinges, the pins and the hinges are wore out. But those are the original doors. I scratched a little paint off of them there on the inside and they're that mint green. <clears throat> this fender here, I think, is new. Because it's, it's in really good shape, and I don't see any mud in it. If there is, there's very little. But that fender on the other side, it's ate up pretty good. So, it's got mud there on the bottom and the, next to the door and around, wrap around the bumper there. It's got a bunch. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's move this. And now this might scare you a little bit. You see me walk past. in the video with that with the haze in here now we got a big haze yeah Chevelle's waiting for spring buddy she is ready except for she's dirty and I might need a set of tires from the back because I got them spun off there pretty good yeah well everybody have a good one I'll see y'all later I remember these nuts Yes. Yes. <laughs> I had to sing out yesterday in the sun for a little bit. <coughs> My dad come up here and needed a piece of steel because I got a bunch of junk here I got to throw away. But yeah, my dad needed a piece of steel. He's building some things down there. And my parts room.
my body parts room. It's a mess back there. There are the Trans Am seats. They're out of a Trans Am. Um, I'm going to recover them. I need to get a uh, kit to recover them. They're really rusty. Tracks are. But I'm going to clean them up. Try to get them in this truck over here. But anyhow, everybody, have a good one. Stay safe and all that. And uh, see y'all later.